Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we are checking out five random knives again. This is the Drop Knives Degnan M Rose. Now, uh, Caviso actually owns Drop now. I do have a link down in the description, and check it out. These guys have a lot of discounts. Right now, you can get this one for like 120 bucks. S35VM, titanium frame lock with a carbon fiber inlay that protrudes up a little bit. The inlay is done extremely, extremely well. Beautiful knife. Couple different examples. They have a blue one and then the, the purple one like this. Hollow ground, spear point blade, amazing action. This The flipper tab is extremely comfortable. Sorry, I keep hitting the camera. Super duper snappy. You can also like open it up in a couple different ways too. It's not the easiest to do, but you can do it when you get good at it. But just the flipping action alone is mega snappy. I mean, just extremely snappy. Beautiful titanium clip and then a side cut section of carbon fiber as the back spacer fit and finish is just insane on this the blade sits nice and tight inside the handle the the this becomes a guard basically so you don't slip up the blade but you know, just to, just to use as a basic lightweight EDC knife, it's a good looking knife. And like I said, very, very affordable for the materials, the build quality and everything you're getting. Um, also with a lot of other knives on their site right now, um, they have the drop, what is it? The Keen, the left-handed version for $99, $99. Now, yes, the, the right-handed version is like 165, but if you're left-handed, so you'll have the clip on the left-handed side, man, what a great, uh, what a great purchase. Next, another one from Caviso you can find on there. This is a Best Tech knife. Now, the Best Tech Bandit, I think. Yes, the Bandit. This comes in so many different options. It has a flipper tab and the reverse flick. The hole is a little tight, but you can get it. Tonto blade, stone washed finish. You can see N690 steel, decent micarta, good access to the lock bar because they did cut back the show side. You have a reversible deep carry clip, or sorry, not reversible. I'm sorry. I thought it was, but maybe it's not because the clip actually goes behind the scale. So it does have a deep carry clip though that works really good. Um, slides in and out of the pocket really nicely. Um, thumb flick, you can thumb roll it, but it's not going to be the best for the thumb flick. But the flipping action is where it's at. It has a great detent to it. Very snappy. You can actually hear it. Detent is very solid. It's a small knife, but it's very affordable. And, you know, somewhat of a budget knife from Best Tech. The Best Tech Bandit. And like I said, lots of different color options with this one. Next is an off-grid knife. This thing is crazy. This is the Off Grid Raptor, and it is <laughs> very crazy. We have a, I don't even know what to call this blade shape. It has a claw like recurve in the front, but then it has a nice flat area right here. It is a flat grind, very broad blade, but I'll tell you what, man, this thing is pretty cool. You can actually use this part, you know, like to open boxes and things like that. But it also could be used for like self-defense. Um, you can use it, obviously, to break down cardboard. The handle is nice and thick and robust. So it is something that's not going to accept a full four-finger grip. But when you smash your hand up in there, you can lock in really hard and really strong. Um, D2 steel. Good access to the lock bar, very smooth on the drop. I can reverse flick it because you have um, this point right here where all the grinds meet that make it that makes it really easy. But the flipper tab, solid detent. Um, I believe yes, Best Tech is the one that actually does their OEM work for these budget knives. The G10, you can see how it's got all this milling in there to make it heavily textured. Good looking and very, very textured. Jimping on the spine also helps you lock in place. You can technically go over the flipper tab if you want to get down, you know, get on some push cuts. But it's a unique knife. Very cool. Somewhat of a tactical style 
you know, knife. It does have a reversible deep carry clip, and these clips work great. Flat screws and inset. It is on ceramic caged bearings. Um, I really like the slow roll because, man, this thing really locks in place. Nice strong lock up with the steel liner lock. Solid detent. Really cool knife, and the packaging is really nice on that, too. Now, here's a little bit of an oldie, but a goodie. The, the Gail Bradley, the Spyderco Gail Bradley. I absolutely love this knife. There's a few things I hate about it, but what I love about it just totally just makes everything, you know, the, that I hate okay, I guess. However, you know, I'll go over the things I don't like, but M4 steel, I love M4 steel, deep, thin, hollow ground, drop point blade, somewhat of a spear point blade actually, because even though the spine, because of the hole deployment, it drops down, if it wasn't for the hole deployment, this is a spear point blade. Like I said, deep hollow grind, very thin behind the edge. This is RC Blade Works Micarta. It, or it comes originally with um, Micarta, or sorry, it comes originally with this faux carbon fiber or this peel ply carbon fiber or something like that. I replaced it with the Micarta, which I love the Micarta scales. I did have to modify the lock bar, which is one of the things I dislike. Um, because the lock bar access is horrifying on this knife. So if you do want to get one, I recommend everybody to cut back your lock bar. It's pretty easy to do. I do have a video on it. Cut back the lock bar, gives yourself some access to the lock bar, and then that's good. Now the next bad thing, the detent is almost non-existent. I mean, it's very light detent. However, you can still reverse flick it. You just have to kind of build up tension because if you don't, you'll pop it in and out. You can slow roll it really easily. Now, mine has an aftermarket clip, but the beauty about this knife, here's where it shines. The ergos are some of the most comfortable you've ever felt. It's so neutral. doesn't matter if you're in a reverse grip um, forward grip, pinch grip. It's just an extremely, extremely comfortable knife. The balance is really good. The geometry is really good. The steel's really good. The heat treat's really good. As a worker, this is an amazing, amazing work knife. Now, don't, you can just look at it and kind of see that this is an amazing work knife, but those little details is what kind of makes it suck. The detent is light and the access to the lock bar sucks. You can fix the access to the lock bar, but it's difficult to fix the detent because it's just even with you making stronger i mean you can make the lock bar stronger mine's starting to get late lock up because i've used it so much so i don't want to strengthen my lock bar but i could do it i know other people have which does increase the detent on them but they're never going to be crisp not like other um detents on other knives just because that's not you know, Gail Bradley's style as far as with this knife. On other knives he's done, I noticed his uh, the detents were great, but this just is not one of them. Anyways, I love this knife. And last, the QSP Penguin. But this one's special. First off, it comes from um, a, a website, Traditional Pocket Knives. Now, I will link them down in the description. They have a whole site full of all different kinds of knives, including exclusives that they have to their... their um, you know, their knife store. Now, this one is an M390. Under $100. It's only $90. M390 titanium milled pocket clip. And it has somewhat of a Stormtrooper edition colorway. White G10. Great access to the lock bar. Ceramic caged bearings. Very, very smooth. The thumb stud action is very easy to get to. I have done a full review on the QSP, QSP Penguin in the past. It's just such a solid work knife. Great knife. You can get a full four finger grip. It's not a small knife. It's not a big knife. It's just a great size. And with the blade shape, it's kind of like a utility blade. So it does have um, somewhat of a mixture between a sheep's foot and a worn cliff. You got the straight edge from the worn cliff and the drop of the sheep's foot. So you got kind of the best of both worlds. Amazing knife, and for 90 bucks, it's a great deal. And like I said, that uh, that site, 
traditional pocket knives. They have a lot of great knives on their site. Um, it's a site that I've only recently found. So if you guys don't know about them, definitely check them out and check out all the other things they have on their site. Um, Cause they also have an, uh, an exclusive penguin with jig bone titanium. That's also a really good price. M390 and jig bone titanium that's also thinner like it's really thin um there's so many different versions of the penguin it's crazy but anyways there you guys go i love you guys thank you guys for watching peace